Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics in the shed this week. Today we are going to have a look at how to rig and fish this really cool looking craw imitation, the Z-Man 3.5 inch Pro Craws. So the 2.5 inch TRD Craws is a favorite presentation of mine. It's a really nice compact little biologically real craw with those two claws that wave around because of that natural buoyancy of the Z-Man. And it's also 10 times tough, of course, like our Z-Man plastics are. So here you'll see an antenna, we've got little legs and we've got the illusion of an underhook tail. So it looks like a, a craw that's trying to get away when you do twitch it and flick it around. So that little 2.5 inch TRD craws has been brilliant on brim, flathead, all sorts of species, fresh and salt. So I was pretty excited when this guy arrived, the Pro Craws three and a half inch craw. So that's the big brother and you can see the big claws on that guy. So being naturally buoyant, those claws are gonna get up and float around and they're gonna attract fish and trigger strikes. It really gives the, the fish a target point to hit on that soft plastic. So same biological realism, really cool looking natural presentation. And it's got a hook pocket on the back there as well, which makes it easier to rig, but also easier to rig weedless as well, which we'll talk a bit about later. So yeah, when I first unpacked this guy out of the packet, I was like, wow, it's a fair chunk of plastic compared to the little two and a half inch TRD crawlers. So I was like, mm, it's gonna be interesting to see what species eat it and what hook sizes we can put in it. So, so far I've seen flathead, jacks, barra, mulloway, snapper, uh, bass, Murray cod. There's been a bunch of species caught on this 3.5 inch um, pro crawls already. So we'll see what you guys can catch on it as well. Initially four colors in the range. So four nice crawfishy looking colors. There's Drew's craw, the deal, green pumpkin orange and hot craw. So we've got hot craw, which is like a red color. We've got green pumpkin orange, which is orange belly, dark top. Um, the deal, which is a dark back with a light belly. And then that Drew's craw is a really natural looking greasy prawny sort of belly with a darker back with a copper flex. So really good crustacean-y sort of profile. So fresh or salt, crab, yabby, crustacean, crayfish, whatever sort of thing we're trying to imitate. This is a cool plastic to do that with. All right, in terms of jig heads, I've got it rigged here on a variety of jig heads, both standard J hook and also weedless. So we can have a look at what's gonna suit the fishing that we're doing. And the cool thing is this plastic will carry a wide variety of hooks, which allows us to target a wide variety of species, which is cool. So here on a Headlox HD, I've got this plastic on a 3.0. And a 3.0 is about as small as I would go in this plastic, but a 3.0 is a very popular size jig head for species like flathead, bass, you know, all your general sort of estuary and freshwater stuff. So a 3.0 in that, and we're about halfway along the head and a fish is gonna find that hook, no problem. I've left that 3.0 sitting there with plenty of hook exposure. So that's on a 3.0, and of course, these hooks come in a, in a stack of different weights. So we can put that 3.0 in with virtually no weight. We can put that 3.0 in with a heavy weight, which means we can fish the shallows, flick around the snags and drains, or we can go and throw it in deep water, see if we can catch a snapper on it. So that's with a 3.0. Looks beautiful with a 4.0 on it. So for the guys chasing jacks and that sort of thing, you might throw that on a 4.0. 4.0 fits in there really well. Carries a 5.0, no stress. Now we're up to our snapper, mulloway, you know, larger species where we want that, that bigger hook. So again, now we can chase barra, you know, if we want to chase some big barra on that 5.0. And then the 6.0 in a Headlocks HD. So the 5.0 to the 6.0 is a step in hook size, but it's also a step in hook gauge. So the 6.0 hook is brutal, brutal strong hook. So 5.0 very popular for snapper and mulloway and that sort of thing. 6.0 if you want increased stopping power, fishing snags, really want to get it out away from there and pull those fish out. So the ability to put that on a 6.0 in a Headlocks HD now opens up Empowerment Barra, you know, Murray Cod. That's a big, strong hook. So that's in the Headlocks HD. We've got our 3.0, 4.0, 5.0 and 6.0 that it can carry. So from the 3.0 to the 6.0, you can see the difference there in the hook size. For mouth of fish, you know, how heavy we want to fish, getting that hook to penetrate, depending on our target species. 3.0, 4.0, 5.0, 6.0. And of course, 
those hook sizes open up some other models in the TT Lewis range that use that same mustard black nickel ultra point chemically sharpened hook. Heavy, heavy duty black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So we've got our big eyes. So our big eyes are painted jig heads with a big 3D eye which acts as a strike trigger. So I thought, yeah, it'd be interesting to put them on there and have a look. And you can see there that makes a pretty interesting presentation because we've now got that glow eye on this black head. So when that thing floats down to the bottom in amongst the weed or the drains or the edges, that glow eye is going to stand out as well and attract the attention of the fish. So the fish will come over for a look, then these, these claws waving around, they grab them, fish on, we've got them. So you might use that dark natural looking head with that glow eye to attract their attention, or you might go something like that. So that's the chartreuse with the red eye. So that there is going to look pretty cool on the flats then, I reckon, chasing barra around the drains, you know, chasing dewies, ch all sorts of things. That chartreuse head will stand out and attract their attention. And then you've got those claws waving around as well to, to draw the strike. So we can utilize the big eyes painted head in a natural color to match our plastics or bling it up, change it up with that UV reactive chartreuse head. So that looks like a yeah, pretty interesting presentation and I reckon that'll get eaten for sure. And then we also have another jig head that's built on that same hook, and that is the Revlox. So again, 3.0 and 5.0 in a big eyes. 3.0 and 5.0 in a big eyes, and the same in the Revlox. 3.0 and 5.0 in the Revlox. So the 3.0 is going to give us that smaller hook size if we wanted to chase, you know, just general flathead fishing around the estuary or a yellow belly or a bass or something where we want that smaller hook size. And that Revlox actually gives us that flash and vibration of the blade underneath there as well. So that's on a 3.0 there. And this one here is on a 5.0. So giving us that additional hook exposure. So the blade underneath there means that when we're twitching and hopping and winding that crawl, we're going to have the claws shaking, but we're also going to have that flash and vibration of the blade underneath. So yeah, I think that'll be dynamite on, you know, jacks, barra, snapper, Murray Cod, all sorts of things will love that bit of bling, that bit of flash underneath. And again, that Revlox jig head is available in four different blade combinations. So you can get it in a gold looking blade or a silver looking blade, nickel blade, and you can get it in a willow or you can get it in a Colorado. The willow, willow is the longer pointy blade. It takes more speed to get it spinning and it also allows it to run deeper. Whereas the rounder blade thump 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 gets spinning at slower speeds also lifts the plastic a little so you just got to have a bit of a think about what suits a lot of people like gold in the fresh silver and the salt and a lot of people like the willow when they're fishing fast and the colorado when they're slowing things down and they want that additional thump so i think that revlox in that crawl is going to be pretty cool you know a lot of those especially in the fresh a lot of those spinner baits jig spinners, tail spinners, all those bladed options attract a strike in the fresh. So I think that they could be very interesting, the fresh, but also another effective way of attracting the fish to your presentation in the salt as well. So that was it for J-hook standard style rigging. I reckon that headlocks HD in a 3040506060 suitable, which gives us the 50 and the 30 in the big eyes and also in the Revlox as well as other rigging options that we can do with that 3.5 inch Pro Crawls. And then we come over to Weedless. <clears throat> this is, you know, where do these guys live? They live in amongst the structure, they live in amongst the weed, they live in amongst the snags, uh, crabs, crawls, all that sort of thing. So we're gonna wanna fish this guy in structure a lot, I reckon, slow it down, get it right in there, try and get that jack to bite, that barra, that Murray cod, bass, you know, even in through the weed for flatties and that sort of thing. So weedless is gonna be an effective way of rigging this particular profile. So it will fit really nice on a 4.0 and a 6.0. So that gives us the chin locks option, which is unweighted. So why would you wanna throw this guy unweighted? He's very buoyant, being a Z-man and being quite bulky. So he's gonna float that hook, I would suggest. So I probably wouldn't fish it unweighted on this style of hook, but I know that people will, so I'm gonna show you how it looks and I'm not gonna bag it because who knows, I probably will end up fishing it like that. But I just think that would be kind of cool, no weight sitting on the top, you jiggle it and shake it. Those claws are gonna jiggle and shake on the surface, create disturbance, fish is gonna come over for a look, boof, it's gonna eat it off the top. So. In a 4.0, plenty of hook clearance there in a 4.0 to get the hook set. And the 6.0, brilliant hook clearance and sits really well. 
So this plastic with its hook pocket and its kind of narrow waist, it sits really well on a weedless hook. The bulk is in that head bit there. So when the fish hits, it's gonna clear that hook no worries because this waist section will just disappear. It's gonna fold away being a Laztec. So you can see when I slide that hook down, there's a lot of hook clearance on that 6.0. And the 4.0, there's enough hook clearance on there to get your hook set. So 4.0 would allow you to target Jackson, bass and that sort of thing. 6.0 is going to bring us up to Murray Cod and Barra and all sorts of other species. But unweighted, throw that guy right up in the reeds, the lilies, the weed. Just shake him around like he's a crawl that's up on the top that's injured or something. And I reckon that's going to get some buffs on it, that's for sure. So that'll fish, for sure. 4.0, 6.0, T.T. Lewis chin locks. This is a super exciting way to rig it, I reckon, is the Chinlox SWS. So that's our Chinlox hook with the belly weight on it. So the belly weight is going to give us that slow natural horizontal sink. Also, when it sits on the bottom, the belly weight is going to kill the hook so that the crawl will just sit up off the bottom with its claws moving around. So you give it a few shakes, those claws are going to shake, but you don't have to move it too far. And you can really just drag it and, and hop it along the bottom with that and really, really natural presentation and weedless as well. So being super slow sink, natural sink, we can skip it up in the mangroves, we can flick it in around all the structure, weed, lily edges, all that sort of thing, get it in around the points. And that belly weight's gonna get us that slow sink, slow natural sink, probably the claws will keel it up, I'd say, and it'll get down there, wobble maybe, shake and wobble a bit on the sink. And then once it's down there, it's gonna sit like that. Claws up in the air, fish comes to bite it, finds the hook fish on so that's weedless on a chinlock sws belly weighted hook that chin lock of course on the front locks our plastic in place so once we hook it on we've locked that plastic on there we've got our hook there ready to pop out and and, and pin that fish when it does strike so that's unweighted on a 4.0 and a 6.0 belly weighted on a 4.0 and a 6.0 so our other option of course is the snake locks and the snake locks gives us that head weight, free swinging head weight. So that head weight, we can unclip that, unhook that, so we can take our head weight off. And there's our chin lock. And what that allows us to do is carry a selection of head weights and hooks, buy a few different packs, and we can mix and match them up. So all of a sudden we get to a deeper edge, we want a bit more weight, we can put on a bit more weight. We want to put on a bigger, different plastic, we can just clip this guy off clip the other one on and away we go keep fishing so that just clips back on again and that free swinging system i think is going to be cool with this profile because the sinker is going to get it down the head weight's going to get it down to the bottom where we want it and he is just going to hang and swing around so up the other way of course <clears throat> but he's going to have his arms up waving around calling the fish over to come and eat him so that's going to sit weight on the bottom crawl up attracting the fish so Lots of different weights available, lots of different hook sizes available in that Snake Locks series of jig head with that removable weight, 75 pound rated through wire through there, so nice and secure, and that chin lock keeper again to lock that plastic in place. So that's on a 4.0. There's also the 5.0 option in a Snake Locks, and that fits beautiful on a 5.0. Again, good hook clearance there out of that hook pocket when they hit the head. <clears throat> and in a 6.0. So the 6.0 sits about at the end of the hook pocket, so that's about as big as I'd probably go in that. But the 6.0, now you can seriously go and target a big barra, Murray Cod. You know, that 6.0 is a good strong hook for, for targeting big fish. So that's a 6.0 snake locks. And now because of the addition of the snake eyes, like with the head locks and the big eyes, We've now got the snake locks and the snake eyes. So that gives us the opportunity to use that painted head with the 3D eye on this plastic as well. So you can see there, I've got a nice dark, I've got a hot crawl there. So nice dark, ready black presentation. And the head I've put on this one is a black head with a glow eye. So again, if I'm flicking this crawl down deep into structure, that glow eye is going to be added attraction to the fish. So the, the fish might pick up the glow eye first, come over for a look, and then they see the claws, claws up in the air waving around. You give it a few twitches like it's trying to get away. Boom, fish nails it and eats it. So that's a 4.0 in there again. We've got that 4.0 option, 5.0 option, 6.0 option again, the same as our snake locks. So that's on a 4.0, looks pretty good. 
and check of that guy. That's on a 6.0, and that's a chartreuse red eyes colored head with that hot craw as well. So this time we've gone away from the natural head, we've gone to that chartreuse head to attract their attention, and we've got that 6.0 in there. So throw that in around some timber for a Murray Cod, throw it into the drains up and around the snags for a barra, and that's a, yeah, that's a pretty cool presentation that again clears easily once the fish hits it because there is a narrow waist on this plastic. Bulky head as a target, hit the bulky head, folds away, narrow waist, easily clears. There's plenty of hook there with that crawl out of the way and being super soft and flexible, Laztec clears well on the strike. So that's our weedless options, just a quick look at them. So again, 4050060, uh, 3040560 in our J hooks and 405060 in our weedless presentations, whether you're going unweighted, belly weighted, or those head weighted options in the snake locks or the snake eyes. So just keep it simple and have a look at what options you think will suit you first up, and then you can mix it up from there. I always throw some scent on with my presentations when I'm fishing. So in this case, I would get my plastic, squirt a little bit either side up the top here, and I'll just smear it right down, and I'd rub it right down to the tip of the claws. So I've got good coverage, it's plenty of scent getting out there, and that Procure is super sticky, so it stays on really well. So I'd probably put a bit on every 30 casts, or after I catch a fish, I'd put a bit more on. And again, you know, with your presentation, you can try and match the hatch if you want to. I'd, I'd rather see you put any Procure super gel on there than none so if you've already got a particular flavor try that first otherwise if you want to work on that matching the hatch and trying to match our presentation as much as possible to what the fish are eating then you can go down the track of like say a shrimp or a blue crab or a crawfish for the different environments that you're fishing freshwater guys also love like an aniseed or a garlic and you know salt water you might just throw on some inshore salt water or salt water yabby nipper but something that's sort of crustacean-y, craw sort of based is probably a good starting point in terms of scent with that Z-Man 3.5 inch Pro Craws. There you go. I hope that helps you have a bit of an understanding of what sort of head weights and hook sizes and bits and pieces you might use with this plastic. Uh, hopefully, whether you're fishing J-hook style or weedless, you get out there and you get to throw this guy around for a few different species. And yeah, we'd love to see some posts of what you do catch on the Z-Man 3.5 inch Pro Crawls. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.